Hi everyone, in this tutorial, I will show you how to create character facial expressions in Unreal Engine using Morph Targets. Morph Targets allow you to configure facial expressions easily in real time and combine different targets to create more dynamic expressions. For example, with this character, the speaking expression is a combination of two different Morph Targets. This enables the character to express with different moves while talking, such as happiness or anger. Here are two examples from my game that demonstrate how facial expressions are used. Hesitation is deceit. I told you that, didn't I? My approach to creating facial expressions is based on MetaHuman. First, design MetaHuman and download it to the project. After downloading, go to the folder containing the MetaHuman face mesh. The face mesh contains hundreds of bones. In Unreal Engine, I generate facial expressions using control rigs, and in later steps, I export the facial rigged animations and use Blender to bake shape keys into the low poly character space. Let's start by creating a simple actor blueprint. It contains one face mesh component for meter human and one law sync component to force the lot to match the low poly face. Set the force the lot to 4 to make it visually similar to my game character. Create a new level for building the animation sequence. Drag the face blueprint into the level and create a level sequence. Then drag the face actor into the animation sequence. From here, you will automatically get the face control board, which is placed on the side of the character. You can test the different controls to tweak the expression. You can also use some predefined expressions to quickly achieve the desired look. To do this, click the post button, select add existing folder to view, and uh, navigate to content, meet a human, common, common, post library, face expressions. In the expressions folder, you will find some predefined expression rig posts. Choose the expressions you want to use, then click select controls, and paste the pose. You will see the pose applied to the face in viewport. You can further edit the expressions by adjusting different settings in the face control board. Once you are satisfied with the result, scroll to the top of the animation sequencer and add a keyframe for the control board. You can then move to the next frame and repeat the same process to create additional expression poses. Once all the expressions you need have been added to the sequencer and all keyframes has been set, now you can bake all the data into animation sequence. Select the face in the sequencer, right click and choose bake animation sequence. Select the folder where you want to save your animation. After baking the expression animations, open the animation file. Since I will not be using the original meta human face and uh, I have removed all the facial bones from my character, the next step is to export the animation into Blender and bake the animation as shape keys into my low poly character. When export, make sure to take the level of detail option. We need to use the low poly mesh data for transfer the shape keys in Blender. Now open Blender and import the FBX file. This file contains root bones and face meshes at different levels of detail. My low poly character using Lord 4, so select Lord 4 and the root bone and focus on those two objects. Next, select and edit the face mesh. Using the merge by distance options can reduce numbers of vertex by a few hundred. This step is optional if you didn't merge vertex in your low poly mesh initially. In the timeline at the bottom, you will see that uh, your animations are set across different frames. Select first keyframe and uh, choose armature modifier and uh, click save as shape key. Now we got our first baked shape key. Disable the armature modifier and drag this value slider to test the result. Now 
Then we can choose a different frames and repeat the process till we got all the shape key baked. You may encounter problems when the animation stretches the face muscle too much, causing the lips area to deform incorrectly. To fix this, use the smooth corrective modifier. Adjust the repeat number to achieve the desired result. Then apply save as shape key from the smooth corrective modifier. Now the expressions should look correct. Now it's time to tidy up the mesh and transfer it to our real character mesh. First, remove all the modifiers, then press Alt P to remove the parent while keeping the transform. Press Ctrl A to apply all the transforms. Open the real character mesh and paste the face into the character file. Since my real character is already rigged and has applied with paint, I don't want to replace the expression mesh with my existing head mesh. Without using any plugins, we can use Blender's native transfer shape key function. The target and the source meshes need to have exactly the same amount of vertices. If you have added your character's face, you may need to use some Blender plugins to transfer mesh data based on distance. Select the source mesh, choose the shape key you need to transfer. Select the target mesh, click the transfer shape key button. Repeat this process for each shape key until all data is transferred. Now we got rigged height with shape keys. If you plan to separate the hand mesh from the body, then you can export the hand mesh from Blender to Unreal. Or you can join the hand back to body as one single mesh. The shape keys will be preserved after the meshes are joined together. Now back to Unreal. The mesh now contains morph targets. By setting values from 0 to 1, you can control their influence. You can also combine multiple targets to create more dynamic expressions. The programming part is straightforward and depends on how you want to design your game. Here is a quick summary of how I implement the logic. Since all morph targets are normalized from 0 to 1, we can create curves to control the values. Create a float curve for general expressions, make the value increase from 0 to 1 in a short time. For character speech, define the curve with a repeat pattern. Next, create a struct to configure the data. I'm using C++ as my game foundation, so here is the struct I defined. It includes the morph target's name and the associated curve. And create another struct to hold an array of morph target configurations and define how long the expressions should last. Back in Unreal, you can create a color function to provide the morph target configuration and send it back to actor. This can be done as animation notify or within any dialog configurations. When the receiver actor gets the expression signal, it will begin to perform the expression ability. It will start to tick and loop through each morph target configuration. Interplotting the values between 0 and 1 on each tick, this continues until the max expression time has passed, at which point the morph target value will reset back to 0. So that's how I implement character facial expressions for my game from start to finish. I hope this video provides you with some helpful info about creating character facial expressions in real time. Thank you for watching and see you in next video.